Well, actually, the last... Well, this boss, the other boss that comes after the next boss, I know, confusing, is... Oh, yeah, and the final boss, of course. I would consider it to be the hardest, and this one is probably the hardest because of one of the stages in the fight. And it's a recurring stage, so he can't actually defeat it exactly. You just need to make sure he doesn't do it again. <coughs> but I will say it right now, he is... He does perhaps have the best boss theme. Remember that little... Well, I don't really know what you would call it. But remember that... The half-fox, half-woman... In the... In the palace? Well... Yeah... You don't fight that. Instead, you fight this massive piece of work known as Nine Tails. Awesome picture, by the way. Before I start this fight, I'm just gonna say something. It really, really pisses me off when people say that that Clover ripped off Pokemon. Or if they say that they ripped off Naruto. Why? Because they act as if this is the only time that a uh, fox like this has shown up. They do the same thing with Digimon too. Okay, I'm gonna rant more after this cutscene. I'll just open up the fan menu. Crap, what the hell happened to my godhood? Okay. Okay, anyways. Basically, these foxes are called Kitsune. I'm not sure if I'm uh, pronouncing this right. I think I am, since Kit hasn't uh, corrected me. And I've said it lots of times before. But yeah, Kitsune. I'm not sure if there's anything special with the number 9, but a lot of but multi-tailed uh, uh, foxes, they're not new. They have been in Japanese our work for a long time. They've been in Pokemon, they've been in Naruto, they've been in Inuyasha. Isn't Tails a Kitsune too? Doesn't he have two Tails? Like Tails from Sonic? And in Digimon. None of them are ripping off each other, they're just using the same model. Okay? And uh, for, the, for the record, there was a, a continent turtle in Digimon before Pokemon, so yeah, shut up with the whole Nine Tails Pokemon ripoff thing. Okay, I'm done. Time to go kick some ass, and hopefully this god lack of godhood wouldn't hinder me. Oh shit, I lost my hit. So yeah, Ninetales is a bit of a complicated fight. It's not complicated right now, though he does have a very wide variety of attacks. He can charge at you, he can do a lot of things with his tails. Nothing you can do will damage him, so you have to go find a thundercloud and zap him. There's the fox fires. You basically have to destroy ow every one of his tails. Ow, this isn't a good idea. And something else that I forgot to mention. He's the only boss that can actually use your brush your e brush easel thing. I didn't hit a single one, did I? So you have to be fast and you have to be accurate, which is why I think this is the most 
the hardest boss fight in this game. See, I just lost two units of health right there. And I didn't... don't think I ever... think I, uh, took a single tail off. Just keep running. It looks fancy, but that sword thing is really useless. Crowder on the bomb, people. Very good. Getting some leg. It's really eating up my ink, but I don't care. Okay, got one. Two, got three. Four? Aha! See, we're kicking ass now. Ink. I need ink. Thank you. But yeah, this boss really gave me a stupid amount of trouble when I was doing my first playthrough. It was always that part where you, where you called out where it broke up into tails. Oh yeah, I didn't really say it, but I did get fire burst from uh, the city. Ah, straight. The fire burst seems to be helping. Oh crap, you still them. Come on. Almost got them all. You better be dead. Oh! That was fast. So yeah, after you get rid of all those tails, you left down to one. And the battle only gets easier. Except the fact that he's hard as hell. I mean, not hard as hell. Fast as hell. Why did I not jump? But now at least those you won't paint on your screen. Why do that? And you know, on that uh, Pokemon ripoff thing, I'm just gonna say it right now, but. I see more similarities with this, with this guy and uh, Daomon from Digimon Tamers. Why? Well, he paints on your screen. Let's see Nine Tails from Pokemon do that. And part of Daomon's method of attack is to uh, paint. Nice and easy. Should use a brush technique. Okay. Come on, how the hell did you miss me, buddy? Lightning seems to be the best for working against this guy. I just need to find a cloud. Well, I'll see how far. Fire's not going too much. Okay. Here's one. I almost got you! I almost got you! Come on! Oh, come on! You have only a thread of health yet left! Thank you. <laughs> Six gigabytes. Holy crap. 
Maybe I should have done this in pieces. Pretty green sword that I already have. And even though you get it from Nine Tails, it, it actually doesn't conduct electricity. Or channel electricity, I should say. Oh, does Jade do that? <laughs> Victory Howl! Right. So that is the ending of my almost two hour recording. It is. Oh, what is it? 155. It's almost 156. Uh, alright now. So that is the end of the second arc. We are done with the coastline and go away sleep mode. And now we will be heading up north. Oh, Maka. Oh, speaking about being full of shit. Alright, pretty boy. Okay, so I guess that is another time you can use catwalk. Still don't like it. Very much. Alright, so that is the end of the coastline arc, I, as I said. Well, I guess that's what it's called. And next time we'll be heading up north to do a sub-boss. He isn't a really a big fight. He's just, um... Well, probably the cutscenes would take longer than him. He's pesky, but uh, he's going to be next. So, I shall leave you right now. And goodbye.